What about the young voters? Where do they stand? Where do they sit right now after everything that's gone down? New York Times spoke to 14 undecided voters and they did have a lot of thoughts about Donald Trump. Uh, let's show you what one woman had to say about J.D. Vance first. When Trump announced that J.D. Vance was going to be his vice president, I was super excited because I really liked his book, said Lillian, a 27 year old Virginian who voted for Trump in 2020. But every time he talks, every time I see an interview from him, I just get disgusted and disappointed. Raw story with quote. They also um, are concerned by who he's surrounding himself with, Donald Trump. Like, um, she looks harmless, but she is uh, really racist. Laura Loomer is who people are taking note of. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. Here's what Mark, a Californian, 24 years old, who voted for Joe Biden in the last election said, quote, Trump doesn't necessarily scare me. What scares me is the people he's surrounded himself with and how they can use him. Just seems like he's a vessel for other people who are way more competent and have way more plans to do stuff that I personally don't agree with. Okay, so that is what Mark, the 24 year old Californian had to say. And I agree at first, Maz, I was like, you know what? He's just as dangerous, okay? He had people breaking into the Capitol, police died on that day. They defecated, they threatened, they did a lot of damage. He is dangerous, but I understand what Mark, the 24 year old Californian, had to say about all of this, and it's true. Um, this time around would be even even worse. Um, I'll get your thoughts quickly on that, and then we'll we'll talk about what another voter had to say. Well, yeah, I mean, he keeps denying that he's got anything to do with Project 2025, but clearly, Heritage Foundation um, is very in with Donald Trump. They help pick the uh, Supreme Court justices. All you got to do, again, it blows my mind that people don't do this. All you gotta do is look at the fact that a minority of people support the overturning of Roe versus Wade. And yet these guys worked 50 years, conservatives worked 50 years to implement this plan. And so here we are again, and just think about all of the other things that they're gonna do, including taking away the rights of gay marriage, the going after the LGBTQ community. Uh, including uh, um, going after religious minorities. The Heritage Foundation wants to implement more and more Christian policies and, and activities in our daily lives. Um, and so if you are at all a progressive young person or a young person who you know, appreciates the freedom, you should wake up and make sure that you do not vote for Trump and Vance because it is a dangerous future. It's a dictatorial, authoritarian future. Uh, he mm -hmm. said, you won't have to vote again uh, if you vote me in. Um, so get ready for uh, Trump Incorporated. Maybe after four years, uh, Donald Trump Jr. will become president. So oh if you want that future, then go ahead and vote for Donald Trump. Thank goodness I haven't eaten yet today. This is called a late lunch, but I, wow, didn't know you were gonna hit us with that one. Uh, mm -hmm. But you're right, because Trump is, Somewhat the devil we know out for self, money, 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 greed, 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 narcissism. But what about these other people? Uh, here's what another voter said, uh, pretty much the same thing. I also wanna know who the heck is running the campaign, said 19 year old New Yorker Angelo. Cause I just saw that Laura Loomer was coming out of his plane and I don't want a psychopath around someone who could become president. It's too late. Was Stephen Miller there too? Not so sure. All right, the group also had stark criticism for Harris, whom they criticized as quote phony, urged to reveal more about her policy agenda, but said they were shocked by the effect she had on Trump during the debate. Where she mocked him, she laughed, uh, mouthed the word, it's crazy when he started talking about eating pets um, and baited him, sure. He looked pretty weak next to Harris, who is someone who has historically not been able to perform well in debates altogether, said George, 21 year old student from Georgia, who did not vote in 2020. When McLean, 25, a Washington DC voter who wrote in Senator Mitt Romney's name in 2020, argued Trump looked immature rather than we. George doubled down, that is weakness, not being able to control your emotions. 
George told McLean, that's not what we want in a leader. Weak and petty, both, I would say, immature, yes. You know the trap she's setting and you still can't. I mean, I read the articles. They said, Maz, that the strategy was that Trump was not to bring up eating of the cats and dogs. And then he went for it. He went all in. Immature, lack of emotional quotient, if you will. Um, should the election occur Wednesday, it was clear choice. Five of the 14 Trump, four of the 14 said they'd choose Harris. Three remained undecided, two said they'd write in another option. Harris does have a lead with young voters. Let's show you that. Most registered young voters support her over Trump. These are the polls. I, I don't know what people are really saying and plotting. Remember the, uh, what do you call the polls where they walk out after they've just voted? And remember, there was the election where it was the exit polls. The exit polls where people said, oh, yeah, I voted for Hillary. They, they clowned them. They just said, we hate the media, we hate anything mainstream, so we're going to lie. I don't know if these polls are accurate. Bad data in, bad data out, or maybe they are. What say you about these young voters? Um, some of it not a shock. Some of it, though, a shock. Having said all of these comments about Trump in that particular polling, he would still come out on top. I don't get how anybody that's young would vote for Trump or the Republican Party. And the truth is because they're conservative. And usually young people tend to rebel against conservatives. But uh, maybe they think that the economy is going to be better under the Republicans, which, again, if you are a you know very wealthy person, then yes, um, you will get tax breaks. They talk a big game. Trump talks a big game. And if you're just listening at the surface, well, then he's going to fix immigration. He's going to end the wars. He's going to you know, fix the economy. All, he just talks about all that stuff. But you as a young person should have a little bit of curiosity to just do the next search and just yeah. you know research how how is he going to do this stuff he famously said in that debate i have concepts for healthcare healthcare came at the hands of obamacare came at the hands of a, a democratic president who finally passed healthcare which some of these young people might benefit from because a lot of young yeah. people um, um, you know can't afford healthcare out the gate and Obamacare has helped them. Similarly, the infrastructure bill has created jobs and a lot of presidents tried to pass it. Biden was able to pass it. So you got to look at what these presidents have promised and what they've done and ask yourself who you want, really. And just yeah. and don't buy into this macho talk from Donald Trump, because, you know, you're going to you're going to end up being paying for it. you're going to be the sucker who pays for Elon Musk's next uh, yacht. Because you decided that, oh, this tax, oh, they're going to give us tax breaks. Read between the lines. The tax breaks are going to go mostly for the rich in the long run. And it's going to cause a future in America of more uh, um, national debt. So it's not good for you. So, again, I would, yeah. I would tell any young person who's thinking about voting for uh, Trump to really do their research and make sure that they know who they're getting in bed with. You're getting in bed with a lot of white supremacists. You're getting in bed with Laura Loomer, as you said. You're getting in bed with Steve Bannon, with with Roger Stone, with uh, um, uh, Alex Jones. If these people that support this guy don't make you question your choice, then, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you should go yeah. see a therapist. Yeah, maybe. Um, and we're short on therapists as well since the pandemic. So um, vet them carefully, but you're betting a thousand miles because now I'm picturing Elon Musk laying out like a lobster on his Please. yacht. And it's, you know, so that's good for my diet today. I do think that Donald Trump, particularly when it comes to Obamacare, 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 it's the name. It's him getting credit for this groundbreaking thing that Americans, the polling show, they don't want it to go away. They like it. They need it. He can't stand it. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.